I know it might seem strange for a Tibetan Lama to do painting, especially modern art painting. My feeling is that the Dharma is highly creative. The spiritual force behind the search for reality is the same as the pure creativity. My exploration of creativity uh, began in a trip that I made to India, a side trip to Jaipur, and I fell in love with stones. I had to touch them. I had to feel them, not like energy woo-woo, but I had to understand them. I had to get to know them. I designed jewelry with these stones. I fell in love with stones of all kinds. But that wasn't enough. And I bought a huge reel of pure copper, and I started cutting that copper into pieces and started hammering on copper and creating hands-on. I learned so much from copper. For example, when I'm bending the copper with my hands, you can't bend it faster than it wants to bend. And while I was doing this and noticing the pressure that had to be placed, as all this is just done with my hands, that I noticed that it's like consciousness, actually. That consciousness cannot move faster than it is capable. That you can't uh, shift, let's say, become enlightened that it is a gradual, that it is a gradual pressure that you place on your own consciousness in order to create something new, something dramatic, something creative, which is your own evolved being, okay? I'm sorry if I'm talking too much Dharma and not enough art because that's really my purpose. We had an old farmhouse, 100 years old. I wanted something really special, a big mosaic counter, but I didn't know how to do mosaics. So I just began, and I did many different mosaics, made the counter, and I didn't stop there. And so if you come to Lotus Lake, you're going to see walls of mosaics. I did a 10-foot table, so there's lots of mosaic, and I'm still doing mosaic. However, there was something that I wanted to do. I discovered painting. We had a 40-foot wall that needed a mural. Not just one, but two huge murals for our new dining hall at Lotus Lake. And this is the sunrise, which is on the on the uh, east side, it's on the east side of the building. And they really do look like this. And uh, this is my second painting, and here it is. This, is. this is the sunset. And so I thought, if I can paint something that big, I wonder if I could paint something small. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I started painting uh, s small sunsets, very tiny things. And I developed some techniques of my own, almost like watercolors, but they're not really like watercolors. I'm not sure what to call them. I love doing the sky. That there is something about the lifting, lifting of the mind, the lifting of the eyes that brings, I think, peace or balance or stability to the heart. And so I have been doing a lot of sky. This uh, beautiful uh, pink and rose. Sometimes they look like a storm. I have a piece that I'm still working on that looks like right after the storm that I'm just so happy about. And then, this. this is the phoenix, the firebird, rising out of the ashes. And
And to me, this is very much like a spiritual development. I think in the West, the imagery of the firebird, of the phoenix, is a very important symbol of transformation. The paintings that I do are really about something that is expressing from my heart. Uh, it's the energy, it is the wishes, good wishes, that are imbued into these paintings. And as people go up and down our little gallery here, sometimes something will resonate right in the heart center, not in the brain, but in the heart center. And they discover something about themselves. I would like to see uh, something nice happening in you. Hmm? There is nothing better than sunflowers. They are the best of flowers, I'm sorry. And so I can't stop painting sunflowers. The story, or I guess it really is, that, the, that it follows the sun. And uh, like that, uh, if we are thinking about higher development, that we should always face, we should always face toward reality. Hmm? Many of the pieces I do have a lot of texture to them, collages that I do, and uh, I actually make the uh, collage material from acrylic, and that is peeled off and placed onto canvas, and then this has a copper leaf on top, and then I begin painting on top of that. So, and sometimes adding some lovely lines that mean something. And uh, this one has messages on it, so. This also has copper leaf. This is just, uh, I think, five by five inches. It's a lovely one. This is the, this is the largest collage I've done. It's uh, 30 by 40 inch, inches. Uh, it has a feeling to me like something tribal, I'm not sure, but uh, beginning very light down here and going to very dark. It's like a little bit like a journey, I think. Hmm? What do you think? Pink and black and orange and green. Can't have too much color, you know. While we're here, I don't think I ever even named this one. It's pretty big, as you can see. Some people think it looks like dragons. Another person says it looks like chickens. Another one says it looks like angels. It says something, there's something, there's something I'm trying to say. And I guess I say part of it uh, through the paintings. And uh, I believe that there's many of these that are really telling a story, that there's something that I'm trying to say to you, nothing harmful, only good things you know. We have, uh, in Buddhism, our prayer many times a day, may all living beings have happiness. May they be free from suffering. May they never be separated from the bliss that is sorrowless. May they find equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. This is our Buddhism, very important aspect. So maybe, maybe these wishes are here. Hmm? So, this is my latest painting, it's called Boom. I don't know why, it just looks like boom. And this is all done with a palette knife, which is something that I really enjoy doing. Great colors, huh? Boom. When my heart uh, it gets really excited, not overstimulated, but very active, that uh, energy, uh, wants to move out. And so this is my pleasant expression of my energy. That uh, kind of a controlled uh, splashing. Rainbow energy, that's the name of this piece. I really like this. I like the blue, I like everything about it. Hmm?
entitled Birds. And uh, it, it just looks like baby birds, and this is the watching. Or there's some conversation going on, huh? Birds. So I share this with you. Uh, when I'm in the studio, uh, by the way, I call that my happy place, okay. When I'm in the studio and I'm working on a painting, that there's a certain uh, aliveness that I'm looking for, uh, that my communication with the paint and the canvas and whatever is emerging that there's a certain magical moment when I feel that, yes, it's alive. And to go beyond that uh, would be wrong. So, I don't know. I have never had art lessons. I'm not sure what other artists say about their work. I have not really explored that. I only tell you my own experience. I hope you like these pieces. I feel very shy uh, to display or talk about them. This is the first time I've really explained or talked about the paintings. And so many blessings. Hope to see you all soon.